For him, failing to gather together is failing in the work of encouraging one another. It's clear that the authors of the Hebrews had such a high view of what happened when Jesus' people come together that he was willing to plead with his brothers and sisters not to stay away, but to be here when we gather. This is one of the reasons that at times I, if those of you who are regulars here at Redeemer, I can sound like a broken record in talking about gathering as God's people. In fact, at times I've been accused of making gathering together a mark of spiritual maturity and a mark of spiritual faithfulness. Normally, I would say that's a false accusation. But on that one, yeah, actually, I do plead guilty to that one. And I think I'm in very good company. Owen, once again, super helpful on this whole section. He says, great diligence is required of us in due attendance unto the assemblies of the church for the purposes that they're appointed for as they are instituted and appointed by Jesus Christ. The benefit we receive by them, the danger of their neglect, the sense of authority of Christ, the importance of his glory in them with the vanity of the reasons for neglecting them all call out for diligence in this matter. 